Hello my beautiful bitters, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to do a perfume and body spray declutter. It may be a long one because I'm also going to show you all of my, everything that I have. So my scent preferences have changed so that's why I want to go through this. Burberry and Limited. So this is Burberry and Limited. I'm definitely keeping this one. This one only comes out for special occasions. I absolutely, absolutely love, love, love this scent. And yes, this one stays in my collection forever until I use it up. <laughs> I'm just, I've been trying to focus on using up perfumes and I realize I don't go through them as, as fast. And I don't want the ones that I really, really love to go to bad. So I would like to just get rid of all the ones that just don't speak to me anymore. So this one is by Lucky and it's in the scent Darling. Now it's a beautiful scent and I tried, tried, tried my hardest to use it up. I not even hit the halfway mark. I am right here in the bottle. Well, actually, you'll see my marks. That blue line is where I'm at. So I've used this top. I used uh, maybe. I'm almost to the halfway mark. I mean, the halfway mark would be here. So I'm just ready for this to be done. I'm just. It's a summer shade uh, scent. Shade scent to me. It's very citrus based. Um. But I really, I do like it, but I think I'm just done. So I will take off these marks in my Facebook group to sell. And if it doesn't sell, I'll give it to Lisa if she wants it. So decluttered. Okay, here's another one that I absolutely love and that's not going out of my collection. This is Jofra. And this is Humor's Edition number one. I don't know what that means. But it's the, the Paris et Moy. And look at the the packaging. Look at how it the top of it says the names, but then on the back it has that Paris skyline, so it just shows right through the bottle. It's so beautiful. I love this. This is keep staying forever. This is a very sweet perfume uh, if so if you like sweet sweeter perfumes you'll like this one a lot so let's go into the Katy Perry one hmm this one's Royal Revolution this one's gonna stay in my collection this one's really cute I really I do like this one I haven't used it in a while just because I was trying to use up that lucky one so so yes Katy Perry you smell good so I'm keeping you this is another one I'm keeping, and I'm halfway through this bottle. This is a Lady Gaga scent. It's a Lady Gaga one. It's her black liquid one, and this is like claws. <laughs> oh, Lady Gaga in fame. So, yeah, Lady Gaga in fame. This one I'm keeping. I really love this one. This one has became a signature scent of mine for quite some time. I always get the most compliments when I'm wearing this. They're always saying, Zelma, what are you wearing? And I'm like, Gaga, of course. And they're like, oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> so as you can see, I've used this one a lot. This one's staying in my collection. Now we're getting down to the ones that I'm not sure about. This one is Halle Berry in Wild Essence. And I think my tastes have changed on this perfume. It smells good, but I'm just into the other ones more. So this one's just been sitting and I haven't used it in a long time. So I am going to declutter this one as well. Uh, Philosophy in Pure Grace. Now the Amazing Grace, I really love. I thought I would like this one too because I do really like clean scents, but this one I've only sprayed on my skin once. That's it. And it didn't mix well with my skin. So this is a beautiful scent. Nothing smells better than soap and, and water clean is what it says on there. And it is a very clean smell with a slight floral scent to it. This one I'm going to declutter. 
it just didn't gel with my skin very well this body shop and this is the Satsuma body mist and hmm I'll think about this one we'll come back to this because I I like the scent I don't even think I've even sprayed it on me yet I think I'll declutter this it smells really good but right now we're going into we're going it's fall we're going into winter and this is very much a summer scent to me mmm it smells so good though that's the thing it smells so good but I think I'm gonna declutter it the Scentsy set and these are so beautiful this is in their Christmas scent I want to say Christmas set and okay so this one's 09 and 09 is crushed pineapple coconut milk and exotic vanilla this one smells so yummy oh yum 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 love I love all of these these are so good this one is in 34 and this one's crushed violet pink orchid and chantilly cream and I didn't think I would like this one because I'm not really a a citrus or a floral person but this one smells has a little bit of like a candied orange scent in with the floral I want to say it's, uh, it's something on that extent this is number 45 and number 45 is lemon sugar wild poppy and tonka bean oh this one smells so good it, these all just smell if you love sweet scents get this scent get this set if you can this is number 82 and number 82 is white peach white magnolia and white amber and this one oh this one is so beautiful for evenings or date nights so good and the last one is number 88 which is jasmine plum white petals and vanilla this one is another one that smells so good and then we go into this <laughs> as it's rolling off the table okay so let's kind of just go through here these are a couple essential oils I'll move those okay so let's go to my big ones so oh this one is Pacifica and this is in sparkling star passion fruit this smells so good I'm definitely keeping that one um, let's grab another Pacifica this one has unicorns all over it and this was sugared amber dreams and I love amber scented items so this one definitely stays in my collection so good and then the last Pacifica item that I have is here and this is Malibu lemon blossom and this one oh yum 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 it just smells so good a little bit of floral a little bit of lemon it's just that perfect mix okay so this one is Victoria's Secret in Mango Temptation and I'm gonna keep this one because this one smells really yummy okay so this one I actually used up and then I went and repurchased again this is English laundry and I get so many so many so many compliments when I wear this perfume so the only thing is is the one that I had before was a spray bottle and I bought a roller <laughs> on accident whoops so bad on me but that's okay I love this and this is definitely staying in my collection so good now this one I searched out and I bought the last one in my Ulta this is tart sweet tart perfume I got the sample of this and I'm like I have to get this perfume and they only sold it in this size otherwise I would have purchased it in this size <laughs> so yes tart sweet tart perfume beautiful sweet just glorious I oh my goodness I just love this this one is kind of reminds me of this English laundry yeah 
So this tart, sweet tart is very reminiscent of English laundry. So if you like English laundry, you will like sweet tart. There is little difference, different nuances in both of them, but they're very, very, very similar. Um, but yeah, no wonder I like the sweet tart one because English laundry has always been one of my favorite perfumes. So, okay. So then we have Katy Perry mad potion. Oh yeah. This one's very sweet. Smells really good, but I think I'm actually going to declutter this one just because I have all these other ones that I really love and I, I'm just going to declutter that one. Let's go into some of these other minis. This one is... A small one of Amazing Grace. This one is Pure Grace. And if I'm going to pick one of these two scents, I'm going to go for Amazing Grace every single time. Um, yeah, I got this on recommendation from another sweet YouTuber. And I totally spaced her name just now. Oh my goodness. Huh? I'll put the name in here if I find her. Anyway, she was going through her perfume collection and she was describing this and I'm like, that's everything I love. So I purchased this little small guy because I didn't want to buy a big guy and like this and find out that it doesn't gel with my skin, which was ex exactly what happened with Pure Grace. It, I bought a full size. It didn't gel with my skin. So I bought, I'm glad I bought this small one, but now I know that... I do really love this one. This one's very clean. So if I'm gonna go with a clean scent, I'm gonna go with this one. This one's just so beautiful. Just so beautiful. Okay, this one is a stay. I have two of these Catherine Malandrino sprays and the Style de Paris and Romance de Provence. I think I like the Romance de Provence better. Um, the style de Paris I don't like as much, but I don't have much left. So I'm going to just put these aside and just steamroll right through them to use them up. That way I can put them in my empties and be like, hey, I finished some perfumes. Okay, here's a little small guy. This is Toka and this is in Simone or Simone, depending on where you're from. A lot of people just say Simone. I have a beautiful friend from Brazil and she pronounces her name Simone. So this one just reminds me of Simone. I have a couple more of these. I don't know where they went. But I like this. I like this one better than the other one or two that I have. So, hmm. Do I keep it? I'm on the fence on that one. Okay, so here's another little one, and I'm definitely keeping this one. This one, one of my personal friends got after me. She's like, Zelma, if you get this in your Ipsy bag, you have to give it to me. I love it. <laughs> this one is Vanilla Blackberry. It's a Paris brand, but the Vanilla Blackberry smells so good, and now I know why she was freaking out and wanting me to keep it <laughs> or give it to her or whatever if if I didn't want it so let's go into my Harvey Prince scents I have quite a few of them and I've decluttered a few in my collection but there's there's just some that <laughs> that I just absolutely love this one is hello and I love hello this is a go-to summer scent for me this one is absolutely beautiful. This is Temptress. I love Temptress. Very, very, very sexy, su sweet, sexy. I, uh, that's how I describe that one. I love that one. This one is Harvey Prince in Rio. This one's very fruity and just lively. I don't know how to describe that. It's sugary, fruity, with some notes of flowers, it's just like life of the party type of thing. That's just what I just feel with that. Then this one, it, oh so divine. And I, I love this scent. So the oh so divine, I think was my like number one scent 
until this one came out. This one's Madagascar Vanilla. I put this on and my husband literally sniffs me up the whole time. <laughs> he, oh, there's just something about it. Okay, so this one's Kiri, K-I-R-E-I. Mmm. This one smells good. It's very citrusy and clean. I think I'm going to actually declutter this one. And then the last one I have in here is this Inkling. And this one is in Sultry. And it's um, a fragrance oil. And this one smells so good. And I'm keeping that one as well. So let's just get everything back in here. Oh, I only got rid of two out of this container. Uh, oh well. I mean, I'm still getting rid of some stuff, so that's all that matters, right? Right. Okay. All right, so let's go into body sprays. And let's go into Bath and Body Works because some of these are probably going to get go and get either probably going to get passed on to Lissa. Um, I've been trying my hardest to use these products, but I've been just wanting to wear Zany Laney. I absolutely love Zany Laney's body sprays so much. So I could see myself getting rid of a lot of these body sprays. So this one I'm currently trying to use up. This one's Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I love, love, love this. And right now I am currently right here in this bottle so I only have this much left in the bottle so I'm very close to being done and I'm pretty sure by the end of fall I will have this finished I'm hoping so yes I'm just gonna keep working on this baby and get it finished up out of my collection and I was using up trying to use up and I got to here so I've used up this much product and this is the Gardenia in Fresh Rain. I really love this. This is very fresh. And this is one that you can get out of the shower, spray your body down, and then you can layer it with stuff over the top. It was, it's just one of those nice ones that you can do that with. I'm, do I want to continue? I don't know. I may just pass this on. I'm going to declutter this. I'm going to pass it on to Lissa. So that way if I ever miss it, I can just go search it from her <laughs> twisted peppermint oh this one smells so good um twisted peppermint i don't know if my daughter has this one um it looks like i've used it because i'm down to here so i've used like this much of it so i think i'm going to declutter twisted peppermint fresh sparkling snow of course, I grabbed this one because of the packaging. Look at the snowflakes. And, oh, this one smells so good. This one's very berry-like. It smells really good. I like it. Um, okay, I'm going to keep it because of the snowflakes. I'm sorry. But it also smells really good. And, you know me, I just, um, I can't help myself. Okay, so I have Malibu Heat here. I also have a matching um, lotion to this as well. And I think I was just using these with matching lotions. Uh, Malibu Heat smells really good. I think I'm going to try to use this up next summer with my lotion because I have a matching body lotion. So I, what I like to do is spray this on my body, use the lotion over the top. Okay, here's a thousand wishes, and I think I have a matching body lotion on this one as well. I'll keep a thousand wishes because of that. And then the last one I have is pink chiffon. This one smells really good. I do like it, but I think I'm going to declutter it. So I decluttered three of the seven body sprays so um just because two of these i have matching lotions to them i like pairing them up and then this one i'm almost done with and this one i just love it because of the packaging and 
I love the scent as well. Okay, so I'm only keeping four. Well, four, less than four. Three and a half. Okay, so now let's go into the rest of my body sprays. Now this is a lot, guys, because this is my Zany Laney collection. So, Murdering Beauty. This one is amazing. This is based off of Hocus Pocus. This one smells so Christmassy to me. I do not know why. Look at the packaging on this. So beautiful. Definitely keeping this one. One is Rich Stuff based off of Goonies. This is Peach Ginger and Paprika and it's my number one favorite Laney, Zany Laney scent and I'm like down here. So this one is Expandable. This one is Cherries, Water, and a little bit of Luck. This one's based off of Star Trek love this one. This one's so clean and so fresh and just so amazing and definitely in my top 10 of my Zany Laney scents. M's My Jewels. This one doesn't do well with my skin but it's a great air spray or poo spray or whatever. So this one smells so good. It's woods, acorn, and peaches and this one's so fall and yeah this one I love. I have this one sitting out in the bathroom. This one was Zany's, Laney's birthday scent. This was So Fetch. This one's based off of Mean Girls, of course. And I named this. So Laney sent me, because I got the privilege of naming it, I got a big bottle of this. And then I have the small bottle. So I think what I'm going to do... Okay, so this is pomegranates, grapes, and kiwi. So oh, I'm going to declutter the little one and give it to Lissa because I she always steals them anyways, and she would want this. So I'm going to declutter that. I'm going to keep the big one just because I have the big one. This one I purchased, and this one um, was gifted to me because I named the product. Oh, this one smells really good as well. This one's Certain Rules. This one's based off a of Scream. This is Butter Popcorn, Peppermint, and Chocolate. And, but the Peppermint and Chocolate kind of shines through on this a little more. But this one smells really good. I wear this one in the house. Um, and it does fade pretty fast, but it's just a beautiful scent. I love it. <clears throat> okay, Gary's Vision. This one is based off of Adam's Family. And this one is Mandarin Oranges, um, mug, I don't know how to pronounce that, Lily, and Dill Pickles. And this one smells so good. I really like it. I was actually pretty surprised about this one. I am missing a body spray. Where the heck did it go? It's one of the newer ones. It's probably in my purse, but I have another one somewhere. And... I love it. It's so good. It's it's Keymaster Gatekeeper. It was the Ghostbusters one. That one I absolutely love and marched its way up to number two place in my favorites of all of Laney's. So my number one is Rich Stuff and then the number two is the Ghostbusters one. This is Candy Cane Forest. Keeping that. This is a big one of Lost and Found. Keeping that. Then we have Rose Shuck Ladder. Shuck Ladder. I don't know. It's spelled weird. I can't pronounce it for the life of me. Keeping this one. And this one's Fallen Christmas Star and Sugar Plums, Candy Cane, and Spearmint. It smells so good. A lot of these ones um, are going to be more. I'm glad I got rid of Twisted Peppermint. Because I have the Candy Cane Forest. I have a big size of Peach of Cake. This is the one that Lissa and I came up with. Theme-wise, it's based off of Princess Peach. So there's Princess Peach on the side. She's holding a peach. Beautiful cake. And yeah, this one smells like peach cobbler. One is the So Fresh and So Green Green. This is Strawberry Kiwi and Lemon Lime Fizz. This one lasts on my skin, no joke, like 10 hours. No joke. Keeping that one forever. Handsome Dan. <laughs> this one, so good. The cigars, bergamot, and sage. Love this one. I, I would spray this on my husband and smell him up. It's that good. 
Whelmed. This one's blackberry lemonade and pa uh, pineapple. So good. Then we have seeing isn't always believing. Black cherries, peaches, and rose petals. Love this one as well. Oh my goodness. Lainey just does really, really good scents. I just have to say. Burden with a glorious purpose. Now, this one is brand new. I think I sprayed it once. But I love this in the wax. But wasn't a fan of it in a body spray just saying so this one may get decluttered maybe I'll try it in the bathroom and see if I like it in there and then make my decision magic box this is this I'm just me this is um, acorns apples and cherry this one's based off of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Willow in particular. Keeping this one, I love this one. 1,000 Yellow Daisies, Fresh Air, Wintergreen, and Aloe Vera. Then I have Snowman Sniffles. This one's based off of Olaf, of course. This one is Eucalyptus, Mint, and Camphor. The Chosen One, Raspberry, Coconut Cake, and car Caramel Popcorn. This one smells so good. This one's based off of Buffy herself, Buffy Summers. So I'm keeping this one because this one smells so good. That one in the wax form, amazing. Darkness Must Pass, and this is Rain, Mountain Wind, and Snow Peaks. And so this one keeping time after time. Green apple, strawberry, and peach. This one don't really like on my skin as much as some of the others, but it's a good um, spray for the house. Then we have Barb, and this is black cherry, raspberry, vanilla, and honeysuckle. This one smells so amazing. I love it. That's based off of Stranger Things. Then I have Familiar, which is strawberry, almond, and lemongrass, and this is based off of Hermione's cat from... Harry Potter. Destiny. Peach Margarita and Rain. This one's based off of Princess Leia. And yes, this one's really good. Love that one too. The Little Guy. This one is very, very sweet and fruity. This one is cherry, cheesecake, and blueberry. It smells really good. I really, really love this one in the wax. I'm really sad she's not doing wax anymore. Seventh Sense. Now this one's Leather, Roses, and Wine, and I'm going to declutter this one because this one I didn't like so much. This one's Stronger Than You. This is based off of Steven Universe. This one's amazing. This one smells so good. This one's Ruby Red Grapefruit, Champagne, and Pomegranate. I love this combination. So amazing. This one's Howl, another Buffy the Vampire Slayer one. And this is Muscadine, Bergamot, and Tarragon. This one is a manly smell. Um, manly but wearable. It smells really, really good. This one is Off Wee. And this one is Brown Sugar, Vanilla, and Honey. This one's based off of Gilmore Girls. Then I have As If. And this is cucumber, melon, and mulberry. This one is really great. I really like this one too. But it doesn't last on my skin v very long. Wannabe, based off of Spider-Man. So this one is grapes, vanilla, cream, and soda. Righteous Dude, musk, coconut, grapefruit. This is based off of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. This is the garage scene where goes out the car goes out the window love that you know nothing and this is fruit green ivy and violets and this one is based off of what do you what's that name tv show and this one say no more this one is water basil and bergamot this one is one that my son absolutely loves so there's that. 
bosom friend. This one is staying forever and ever and ever. I am having a total brain fart. Anne of Green Gables for crying out loud. I thought I purchased a big size of this. Where's my big size of this? You can't take the chai from me. Chai tea and vanilla. This one smells really good. Token. This one's based off of Ready Player One. This one is Wildberry Lime and Champord. This one smells really good. I like the scent of that. Welcome to Jupiter. This one is um, American Horror Story. Okay, saved by the smell, obviously. Saved by the bell themed. This one's Bubblegum, Sugar Candy, and Strawberry. Crypt for Two. I loved this one. This one's based off a of Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This one's Black Pepper, Oak, and Kiefer Lime. This one, oh, smells so yummy. I love it. And I really loved it as um, a wax as well. This one's Cake Sniffer. This one's based off of Lemony Snicket. I think it was season two where the girl always called everybody Cake Sniffer. Yeah, she was a butthead. She was a big butthead, but this smells really good. This one is pink sugar frosting and birthday cake. So, yeah, um, I remember the birthday cake scene. She was in there. Birthday cake scene. Yeah. That was a good one. Okay. And Lucille. And this one is leather and fire rain. This one's off of The Walking Dead. And what's his butt? I forgot his name. Butthead. Manly. And... Reminds me of Seventh Sense in a way because of the leather. The leather really comes through. But yeah, this one is not a big favorite of mine. I I purchased this is one that I purchased. The ones that were given to me uh, for review purposes, I'm not going to resell. But the ones that I purchased, I'll definitely I'll I'll resell. But this one I didn't really like as much. This one's Lucille Leather Fire Rain. I believe, yeah. This one, I didn't, I wasn't in Zany Laney when this one came out. My small one of Lost and Found, and I'm going to declutter this because I have the big one, and I know that Lissa is going to want this, so I'm going to declutter this and give that to her. So all my littles fit in here. And my perfumes. I decluttered all of this out of my perfumes. So one, two, three, four. Four large sizes and two small sizes. Just because they're gonna go to my daughter. I think all of these are gonna go to my daughter. She can just worry about using them up or what. So yeah, that's everything that I'm getting rid of. I'm still on the fence on these three on if I'm gonna keep them or not, or if I'm just gonna pass them along. Maybe I could just pass them along to somebody. Maybe they may like them. Thank you guys for joining me in this declutter. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out on my Facebook page for any of this stuff if you're interested in them. Thank you guys for joining me in this declutter. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.